it all starts with a great script and my husband and his writing partner, Phil Hay and Matt Manfredi, uh, had been talking about the script for a couple of years and several years actually and we work together. We work as kind of creative partners and when I read the script I just felt like I hadn't seen that character before and um, was really excited to kind of dive, dive in with her. I mean, there's the physical preparation in terms of the guns, and I did a lot of training for mm -hmm. learning how to use um, semi-automatics mm -hmm. and pistols and everything. Um, I needed to be able to fire them. I needed to know how to load them. Mm -hmm. I just needed to have them as though I lived with them my whole life. Mm -hmm. So we had a great um, teacher who I, I live in Tennessee, so it was easy for me to be able to go to the... Um, to the range and work with the guns. So um, I did that and then also just, uh, I mean there was a lot of talking for us, mm -hmm. there was a lot of research in terms of what it meant to be a cop and, and mm -hmm. the way in which you even enter a room, the way in which you're always on guard, all of those mm -hmm. things that are second nature to somebody who is um, working to protect themselves or working as a policeman or a detective or a policewoman, anything mm -hmm. that requires, um, n you know, knowing those skills of protection and, and um, how to attack. Mm -hmm. um, and that's a whole, there's a whole way of looking at the world. So that's sort mm -hmm. of almost like rewiring your brain and your body. We, I mean, we were in LA uh, on location every single day. We were never on a stage. So... I mean, there were days we moved one, two times from one location to another across Los Angeles. So it's we, to, we got shut down one night because there was a shooter. There was an actual shooter, shooter on, on the out on the streets, street and so we corner. had to shut down. So it was like, oh, it's we were inside. Some, we were in some hot neighborhoods, I think, yeah. is how you would put it. And um, and it felt but that's great for the authenticity of oh, what yeah. you're doing. I mean, we are in these locations. We're not. Um, so many of the times now you're green screening things. Oh, or, yeah. This was, no, this is, we're there. It, w it was. I saw a side of LA I, Yeah. I've probably we all never did. seen. We all did. I mean, we really kind of went great. all over the city, and it's such a huge, sprawling kind of Pandora's box of a mm. city. And we opened it up and got into the corners. Mm. There was a curiosity from Nicole. There was a sense of, uh, empathy for the character which is crucial to exploring her I think and and Nicole said something that that helped me see the character early on I don't know if you remember in our first phone conversation you said I just I, I feel like I, the, the, the character is her foundational emotion is shame and what is shame mm. and what does that do to us and I just felt like I hadn't actually, to be honest, I hadn't found that way in yet to the character. And the fact that Nicole, I knew right away, was going to bring another layer that I hadn't even really uh, explored yet. It just made me feel like uh, we were going to do very well together. <laughs> I love satisfying genre films, but the reason I'm satisfied by them probably always ends up returning to the idea of of incredible characters and substantial characters and this was a marriage to me of a character portrait of a very broken damaged I hope uh, ultimately sympathetic anti-hero anti-heroine with with a genre structure that was very bold and uh, narratively complex and dense and very just there's a lot to work with so for me if genre can deliver on a human level on an emotional level it's uh there's not much better for me